fly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look, it's in a book. Reading Rainbow. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best 80s TV theme songs. The A Team. For this list, we're looking at the most memorable TV show theme songs from the 1980s. What's your favorite 80s TV tune? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Inspector Gadget. The man responsible for this theme song, Shuki Levy, was also behind the themes for Power Rangers and Digimon, two other themes that live on in the heads of 80s kids. When you hear those opening notes of Inspector Gadget, it's clear what's coming, and it is impossible not to sing along. The song was influenced by Edvard Grieg's Hall of the Mountain King, which can easily be heard and perhaps not unheard once you're in on this secret. The song is a classic in the hearts of many, and poor Steven Scrat, who was tasked with revamping the tune for the Netflix reboot, was subject to much scrutiny upon the trailer's release. You just can't compete with nostalgia. Number 9. The Greatest American Hero Do you remember The Greatest American Hero? You know, that one show about a substitute teacher who gets a superpowered suit from aliens? No? <laughs> Neither do we. But we're willing to bet you remember the theme song. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could feel so Composed by Mike Post and Stephen Geyer, the tune made it to number two on the Billboard Hot 100. The song is such a pop culture staple that it still shows up every so often. For example, in shows such as Seinfeld and Family Guy. Believe it or not, George isn't at home. Please leave a message at the beep. Believe it or not, the show itself actually aired for three seasons and a total of 45 episodes. Can you name one episode? No? Well, can you sing the theme song? Heck yes! Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I never thought I could be so free. Number 8. Saved by the Bell <sighs> Remember the 80s when we'd get up early to watch Saturday morning shows? We'd be so excited that school was out for two days, yet we'd all tune in to watch a show about school. When I wake up in the morning and the lawn gets out of water, I don't think I'll ever make it on time. The theme song for Saved by the Bell was composed by Scott Gale, the man who is also responsible for Blossom's theme. Apparently, Gale was given explicit instructions not to include the name of the show in the opening song, but disobeyed these orders and managed to impress in doing so. It's all right, cause I'm saved by the, bell. the song was rebooted and covered by rapper Lil Yachty for the 2020 version, but it just doesn't have that same nostalgic feel to it. It's all right. And the new show lacks gigantic gray portable phones. Hey, we're just saying. Number seven, Knight Rider. That futuristic synth sound. Knight Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. The theme song to Knight Rider is one that features a short narrative explanation at the beginning, just to remind us all of what we're watching. This was a popular technique in the old days for some reason. The show was a hit with all members of the family. Dad for the action, mom for the handsome lead, and kids for the incredible innovation that was the sentient talking car. What would you like to hear? What the hell was that? Composed by Stu Phillips and Glenn A. Larson, the theme song was sampled from a classical song by Leo Delib and was played using not one, but as many as six synthesizers. That was the height of cool in the 1980s, kids. Number 6. Full House Remember the TGIF TV lineup? Of course you do! It was all of our cheesy family favorites in one place, and we loved every minute of it. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Full House was at the top of the list for many of us, with its existential plots and moments of deep introspection. Just kidding. But that one time Stephanie drove the car into the kitchen was pretty hilarious. Whoa, Randy, whoa!
and Uncle Jesse not aging since then is pretty great. And realizing Uncle Joey really isn't funny now that we're adults? Well, that kind of sucks. In any case, the show's theme, Everywhere You Look by Jesse Frederick and Bennett Salve, had the habit of getting stuck in our heads for hours after we heard it. Don't deny it, you wanted a seat in that convertible. Number 5. The A-Team Here's another intro that opens with an explanation of the show. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Did TV producers in the 80s think everyone had terrible memories? The A-Team was the coolest team in the mid-80s. With Mr. T in the mix, we pity the fool who doesn't share this opinion. The tune has stood the test of time, and still makes itself known in the occasional musical cameo. Back in 2013, the Today Show's Al Roker revealed that he plays the song in the morning to get jazzed for the day. Apologies for that mental image. The song was composed by Pete Carpenter and TV theme genius Mike Post, a man whose name you've likely seen in many show credits. Number 4. Reading Rainbow one of the most memorable children's programs for 80s kids, Reading Rainbow was a great way to encourage literacy and education. Butterfly in the sky. LeVar Burton, the host, was and still is a much beloved personality, and we always adored gathering around for a story with him. Books are one of the most precious things we have on Earth. But, as we say down here, you don't have to take my word for it. The opening theme really sparked wonder. It went through three different versions in the show's 23-year run, but the original will always have a special place in our hearts. It was definitely one of the best after-school shows on air, but you don't have to take our word for it. Reading Rainbow. <laughs> Reading Rainbow. <laughs> Set phasers to love me. Number 3. DuckTales While we're on the topic of songs that get endlessly stuck in our heads, who else remembers running home after school to catch the afternoon showing of DuckTales? Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. Race cars, lasers, aeroplanes. Composed by Mark Mueller, a popular songwriter for pop stars and TV alike, the tune introduced us to the eventful town of Duckburg. We got to join Scrooge McDuck and his grandnephews as they solved mysteries and rewrote history. 80s kids were always up for a little D -d -d danger. The tune has stood the test of time, as it was re recorded for the 2017 reboot without many changes. Life is like a hurricane here in Duckburg. It was also covered by Panic at the Disco's frontman Brendan Urie on The Tonight Show. I solve the mystery. Oh, Number 2. The Golden Girls Did you think we'd forget about this one? A little different from the entries on this list, the song was originally recorded in 1978 as a single by artist Andrew Gold. Thank you for being a friend. It was then re-recorded by vocalist Cynthia Fee and trimmed down to serve as the opening for the show. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Gold claimed the song took only about an hour to write, and we can safely assume he had no idea how popular it would become. Our four favorite Golden Age ladies would grace our screens every week, and the title sequence was definitely something we'd look forward to watching. The show was also responsible for introducing a whole new generation to the incredible Betty White, which is truly priceless. Thank you for being a friend. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Family Ties, The Keatons, what would we do without them? I bet we've been together for a million years. Miami Vice, synthesized guitar, and the show that spawned millions of tacky suits. Night Court, a jazzy intro to everyone's favorite unruly courtroom. 
family matters. As days go by, TGIF with the quintessential 1980s nerd. It's a rare condition this day and age to read any good news on the newspaper page. And love and tradition of the grand design. Star Trek The Next Generation. The orchestral theme song that boldly goes where no one has gone before. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cheers. This one really has a special place in our nostalgic hearts. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Cheers was one of the most successful sitcoms of the 1980s. In fact, a poll done by GQ magazine in 2013 saw it voted the best comedy show of all time. The theme song was created by Gary Portnoy and Judy Hart Angelo. Fun fact, their initial two song submissions had been rejected by producers. Sammy, can I let you in on a little secret? Sure. I knew you'd come back. Where Everybody Knows Your Name was the winning tune, and really made us feel welcome in that Bostonian bar of regulars. Sometimes you do want to go where everybody knows your name. To drink responsibly, of course, and take a taxi home. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.